with you and it may ruffle some people's feathers hell is not going to be one big party for eternity but hell is a place where people will literally burn in the fiery pits of hell yo you too what it do baby it's your boy you know you know who it is you know what time it is man it's black atheist rant now i just wanted to i wanted to show y'all what i'm talking about you got it from the horse's mouth, up close and personal. You see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the this is their belief. This is not just her. This is their actual belief that after we die, if we don't give our life to Jesus and we don't repent of our sins and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, ain't no fun for us after we die. It's torment and hellfire right yeah for you and me they actually worship a god that's going to burn us for eternity that's what they believe y'all they they understand that their god is going to burn us forever and they're okay with worshiping it even though in spite of in spite of them understanding exactly what God is going to do to us after we die for not giving our life to Jesus. They, in spite of all of that, they don't give a fuck. They're going to believe anyway. This is why I say to y'all, this, this, is, this is why I say there is no way you can care about others and be a Christian. How can you seriously say you care about me and my way of being, yet you worship a God that's going to find pleasure in torturing me for eternity right how can you care about me and simultaneously worship a god that's that's out to get me your god is out to get me your god is out to punish me i'm not gonna give my life to christ i'm not gonna worship the god i'm not gonna bow down i'm not gonna live my life in fear god is after my soul quote unquote god is after me y'all spiritually because since I don't want to follow his belief system, follow his religion, he's going to punish me. They they believe in this hell, y'all. Don't let them fool y'all like they don't believe that, this, that there is a literal hell. Because if they didn't believe that there is a literal hell, why are they worshiping the God? You gain no benefit. You gain no benefit on earth from worshiping God because you got free will. We all got free will. That means if I want to come beat your ass, there is nothing your God can do to stop me because I have the free will to do so according to your religion. So God can't protect you from no ass whooping. He can't take you from no disease. He can't take he can't protect you from no pandemic coronavirus. He can't protect you from no rape and no murder. And I'm not wishing this upon nobody. I'm just saying, yo, there is no actual benefit to believing in God. Because he can't protect you. He can't cover you. He can't shield you. All he can do, all believing in God can give you is a little bit of comfort. It can. All you can do is cover your eyes to reality. All you can do is live in a fantasy land. That's all you can do by, by believing in God. But if you actually go off observable reality, God is not intervening. God is not doing shit. And if you say, well, God is doing shit, he helped me get a car. He helped me get a, he, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Well, then I'm going to bring up all these other people that don't have anything that are praying to the same God as you. So again, how can you care about everyone around you and then worship a God that helps you and not everyone? That's number one. Number two is how can you care about every, how can you care about others around you and worship a God that's telling you he's going to punish them after they die? That contradicts y'all. You can't, these people do not care about others. I don't give a fuck how nice, I don't give a fuck how nice they are to you. That's, that's, they only doing that so they can get to heaven because they don't want to burn forever.
They not doing it because that's the real them. They doing it to get a reward. Because I guarantee you, if tomorrow everybody just, hey, there is no proof of God, God doesn't exist. What the, everybody going to be like, what the fuck is the point? Most of them going to be like, what the fuck is the point then? They don't have, they going to feel like they have nothing to live for because they gave their life to this bullshit. She's telling y'all, you're going to fucking burn. You motherfuckers are going to burn. I'm going to burn. You're going to burn. Ain't no, she said, ain't no party. It's hell. It's torture. And she's, she's, she's okay with that. This gets her excited. This turns her on. She fantasizes about us being tortured forever. Let that sink in. All of them, majority of them are like this, y'all. This is their religion. Don't let them tell you different. Don't let them tell you, well, we don't believe in a little bullshit. Yes, the fuck you do. That's your belief system. You you believe in this shit that she's saying. Y'all, they believe in this hell, y'all. They believe in this torture. They like I just said, they find pleasure. It's like they it's like they get excited about knowing that we're gonna get punished after we die. Does, does that not bother y'all? Isn't that something we should pro? Why like why are we re why should we respect a belief system that's out to get us, y'all? Why should we respect a belief system that's telling us it's out to get us? She enjoys it. This God is going to cause harm to us after we die, even if, if that's even possible. This God is going to cause harm to us after we die. And she gets on her knees, opens her mouth and gags for this God. She kisses this God's ass before she eat her, eat her food, eat her meal. All of them do this. They they come out, listen to me, y'all. They come out and tell us God is gonna punish us and burn us. But we're 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 humans. We're to, we're supposed to be a team, we're supposed to be together. How can you simultaneously care about others and want to see the world change? And then you go home and worship a God that's telling you he's gonna burn us. I don't understand that, y'all. Make that make sense to black atheist rant. Make that make sense to BAR, baby. It don't make sense. You're threatening. She just threatened us. They're, when they say this to me, I feel threatened. What are you trying to say to me? So now that you have came, now that now, okay. Once they tell us what God is going to do to us, how do they feel about it? How do you feel about God torturing me and burning me, motherfucker? Is that something you're okay with? How did that sit right with you? And if you say it doesn't sit right with you, why are you worshiping the God? Well, all you got to do is give your life to Christ. I don't want to do that. Do I still? What is the point? What was the point of Jesus dying for my motherfucking sins if I'm still destined for hell? So he died for my sins for shit. Because when you take, when you sacrifice something for somebody else, that means they don't have to pay anything. They don't have to do anything. You sacrifice what you had for them. Don't sacrifice what you had and then tell me there are still more steps to get to hell. Like, what the fuck is the point of... Mm, come on, let me... Let, come on, let me give you this fucking word. Hold up. Let me give you this fucking word. Okay, check this out, y'all. What the fuck was the point of Jesus dying on the cross if we still had to take action to get to heaven? How... Okay... Let me give you a better example. If we go to a restaurant, if I say I'm going to pay for your meal, do I pay for your meal and then ask for you to pay me the fucking money that I just gave the waiter? That doesn't make fucking sense. That don't, that don't correlate. It doesn't. It, it, it contradicts, y'all. Yeah. How the fuck can a savior save me and then require payment after he saved me? Like, what the fuck? How? How? How does that make sense to y'all? How did that make sense to them? You tell them you're going to pay the bill and then ask for me to pay you? What? What was the point of you paying the bill? So you can get something in return? 
You God wants something from us. Jesus wants something from us. It's not a free, ain't nothing free, y'all. He didn't he didn't die on the cross so that we could be saved. He died on the cross so that we could kiss his ass in order to be saved. Let me talk my shit. He, I'm going to say it again for the motherfuckers in the back. Jesus didn't die for our sins. He didn't, he didn't, he, he's not a savior. No, he's like a mob boss. You know, I will take out your enemy as long as you pay me. I will sacrifice my three-day weekend as long as when I come back, you kiss my ass and get on your knees and crawl around on your elbows and shit for me. That's all I'm hearing. Because even eat. It don't matter how good I am or you are as a person. It don't matter. It don't. It doesn't matter. It don't matter how many charities you give your motherfucking money to. If you don't get on your knees and kiss this guy's ass, your ass is going to be burning. That's what she's saying. If you watch that little part of that video and you saying to yourself, that's not what she's saying. Well, you, you, you comment down below what the fuck that means, what she said. Explain to me what she just said. If 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 what I'm saying about what she said is out of context, what the fuck is she saying then? What did you get from the little snippet of the video? Because all I heard was motherfuckers like me who think it's going to be a party after they die. No, you're going to be burning and being tortured and you're going to suffer for eternity. Motherfucker. That's what I got from the video. So... I'm not Einstein, but what the fuck else can you get from the video? That's all I heard. That is that not a threat? Is that not is that not an attack on my motherfucking safety? How am I supposed to sleep at night knowing that the creator of the motherfucking universe is out to get me? Not only in uh come on, let be a this video, fuck it. It's gonna be long. You finna get this fucking work. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give you some more. Come here, come here. Not only is God going to let me suffer on earth because of free will, not only is God going to let all of us go through these so-called tests to test our fucking faith, not only am I going to be punished on earth, this motherfucker going to punish me after earth. So it's like, God damn, can a nigga get a break, Yahweh, Allah, Vishnu? Can I get a break? Big, big bro, big Jesus, can I get a motherfucking break? I didn't, I didn't ask to be here, yet you're going to punish me for being here. I didn't ask you to, I didn't ask you to pay for my dinner, yet, you, yet you're, you're forcing me to give you money for something I didn't ask you to do. I didn't ask to fucking be born. But if you're the creator of the fucking universe, how dare you ask me and how dare you demand payment for some shit you chose to do? How dare you give me free will? To reject your bullshit claims in your book and then punish me for doing so. That's not free will, that's an ultimatum, and that's a threat. You respect these beliefs if you fucking want to. They out to get you. I will not. Fuck these guys. Fuck these religions. You know what the fuck I'm about. This is this YouTube channel is not an attempt to change your motherfucking beliefs. Because if you stop believing in God, I don't have shit for you. All I have is me, humanity. I care for you. Loving one another. Helping one another. Trying to get to know one another. Trying to, that's all I got for you. I don't have no fucking religion. I don't have no handbook. No, no, no palm. I don't have shit for you. No GPS. No, I don't have nothing for you. I don't have shit for you. You leave your fucking religion. I don't know what to say. This is not a fucking religion I'm in. Atheism is not a religion. Anti-theism is not a religion. I don't even, I don't give a fuck what you call it. Call me what you want, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. I'm against whatever that shit is. Whatever you call that shit, I'm against it. I'm on your team. If that's a religion, hey, let's pray together. If what I'm doing is a religion, if you feel like I'm being religious, let's pray then, motherfucker. Cause I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of them telling us what's gonna happen to us and what punishment awaits. I'm sick of that. I don't want to keep hearing that shit. Keep your motherfucking religion to yourself. You want me to keep my disrespect to myself? 
Keep yours to yourself. Like I said in my last video, I hold the belief that we don't need these motherfucking gods to be great. I hold the belief that it only takes us. All we need is each other, and we can just if we can all just get on the same fucking program and care about one another a little bit more, we'll be straight. So if that's my belief, and then you telling me your belief is we need a fucking God, and we're nothing without a God, and a God is what we need in our lives to be great, you're disrespecting my beliefs. So if you're going to disrespect my beliefs, hey, you know what? You know where the fuck I'm at with it. I don't got shit but disrespect for you. Fuck your God. Fuck your religion. Fuck your holy book. Fuck your holy text. Motherfucker, I shit in your baptism water. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck about your religion. I will protest your beliefs until the end of time. Oh, oh, oh. I don't give a fuck about your God. Your religion and your hell and your heaven and your God and your... That sound like racism in my ear. Motherfucker. I'm George Floyd. Christianity is, the is, is whatever the fuck that officer's name is. Get the fuck off my neck. I cannot breathe. Fuck your God.